All right, welcome one and all to this wonderful little video screencast we have called My First Tech 2. Okay, well, it's so good to have you here, and it's great to be talking to you about doing Tech 2s. Okay, so right off the bat, you can see we're at mytech2s.com. You should have this bookmarked. Um, if you ever tried to go there and it doesn't work, usually it's because it's been misspelled. So make sure you really get the double T's and the double O's in it. I promise you it's working, so mytech2s.com. Okay, so you're there. You've already done the student check-in, which you know everything about, hopefully, by now. If you don't, go back and watch that video, because this is not the video about that. This is the video about working on your very first Tech 2. All right, so you're in here, and you're going to go right here to the Tech 2s. I'm going to click on that. There we go. That opens that up. And then you're going to see right here, there is an icon here in case we, we are in remote learning. Anything with the little house icon means that it can be done in at your home in remote learning. Okay, so obviously if it doesn't have it, you can't do it. Here's a good example of that. Coding has the little house symbol. Yes, you can do that at home in remote learning. Robotics, no house symbol. Can't do at home. Okay, so yeah, you might want to do robotics, but if we're in remote learning, you can't do robotics yet until we get back into the classroom. Uh, the first thing you need to know is you do need to start with level one. So I know you might be tempted to be like, oh, I really want to go do level three digital music because you're writing your own music. No, 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 you can't do that. You got to start at level one. So you're going to start with one of these red banded ones up here. Okay. And um, the first thing you'll notice is th this one, webcasting. You don't need to start here. The only time you need to open up this is if you get an email from me saying you have an assignment for the Middle School Pulse show. So if you don't have an email saying you have an assignment, you can just ignore this one for now. So don't start here, okay? Uh, but let's go ahead and let's pretend that, you know, you've kind of opened a few of these and you've looked around and you've decided that uh, you want to do digital music, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and open up that one. Okay, and um, if you are in remote learning, there is a video at the bottom of the page that tells you how to do it from home, okay? so. Uh, go all the way down to the bottom of this page. It's all the way down here. Let me just scroll down there and prove it to you. And see, there it is, how to do it as remote learning. That just me telling you basically what modifications you need to do to be able to do this tech too. Okay, so then you're going to read the description. Okay, learn how to make your first song in GarageBand. Band, yeah, sorry, I'm mixing up my words here. Using loops and beats. So you're like, okay, that sounds good. Okay, I think I want to do that. And then you're going to watch this intro video from me. Okay, and that'll tell you everything you kind of need to know about getting into this Tech 2 and doing it. And then you're just going to see we have a little uh, six-point list here. Uh, you make sure you have GarageBand installed on your Mac. Um, uh, you might have to get it installed there. It's okay. Um, make sure that GarageBand has all the loops installed in it. Okay. And then you're going to create an original song using these loops that's at least 90 seconds long. So you kind of now you start to know some of the criteria for it. It must at least have four tracks in it. And you need to create a proof of work video. And if you don't know what a proof of work video, you can see that's, that's a hyperlink right there. That'll take you to a page that'll tell you about it. Make sure you name your song. And there is another hyperlink here for a song name generator if you needed to come up with a name for your song. And then you also see here's the turn in folder once you're done a project and you've exported it as an mp3 that's this is because it says right here you got to export as an mp3 uh, you would turn it into here okay so you'll be working by yourself you need a macbook or a smartphone and some headphones here uh, it says please note garageband does not auto save you know so you got to keep an eye on that and then you kind of get right into it okay so you you start watching this video, and I think it's just a few minutes long, and then you'll watch the next one, and then you'll start to do this as you watch the video. You'll pause the video and then go do it in GarageBand as you build a song together with me. And then there's some other videos here that are usually just, um, just showing off different things you might be able to do, okay? Just so you get an idea. You don't have to watch every one of these videos. I just put a lot in there in case you want to really uh, figure out deeper and deeper and deeper. Um, the first few are always you need to watch them and then the rest are kind of optional. Like once you've figured it out, I mean, you can either uh, watch the videos or not watch the videos, okay? But that's, that'll take you all the way through it. Even if you have a little familiarity with GarageBand, it's better to watch at least the first couple of videos from me so you understand uh, what I'm looking for in everything. Okay, so let's just scroll down. Let's pretend that you've, you've now been making your song. Uh, there, if you want to take this more, there's some different channels here you should probably check out on YouTube. 
I don't have any linked books or websites. Uh, here are some student examples from what students have made over the last year here. So you could just check those out by hitting the play button and be like, wow, that's kind of cool. And of course, we're at the bottom of the page where the remote learning instructions are. So that's essentially how to do a tech two, okay? So you just follow along and do it and you know, pause the video, rewind it if it doesn't make sense to you and build it with me. And then uh, they will get more and more complicated as you go uh, through the different layers of them, so levels. So level ones are pretty easy. You should finish them in about 60 to 90 minutes or one or two class periods, three class periods at the most. And then um, the level two get harder and then level three are really hard, okay? So that's kind of how that works, okay? So that is your first tech two. I hope that makes sense and I can't wait to see what you make.